Now, in order to get around today, we're going to use our freeways. LA is kind of known for its freeways. We have 500 miles of them. And if you live in LA, you really need to own your own car to get around. If you don't own a car, you're going to have to get around by city bus. It's indoors, that way they can control the lighting, the temperature, the sound. The walls of some of these buildings are three feet thick. Now this was the home of Shirley Temple. She grew up in a lot of 20th Century Fox. Her movies did very well for the studio and helped to grow in the beginning. See some of their advertising on the left, things that they're working on coming out with. This is their main entrance. If you look in here, you'll see they've tried to recreate streets from different parts of the world back in there. That's where they taped the TV show 24 with Keith R. Sutherland. It's a pretty popular show. Uh, some of the movies they've recently done there would be the new Die Hard movie with Bruce Willis, the new uh, what, uh, uh, King of Scotland. They did that recently, did very well with that. That made him a box office star. In that building is where Shapiro's office is, one of O.J. Simpson's ex-lawyers. That's where Ronald Reagan had his office after he left the presidency in that building. The participation from the parents for plays and all that other stuff. Now the front area coming up on the left is where they used to film a lot of the TV show 90210 Beverly Hills. Actor David Schrimmer from the TV show Friends went to this high school. So did actor Richard Reifus. Uh, actor uh, Nicholas Cage, Antonio Sabato Jr., uh, Angelina Jolie, singer Lenny Kravitz. So there's just a few names I can remember. This high school, they say, was used in one of the most inspirational classic movies ever made. It's a Wonderful Life with Jimmy Stewart. 34,000 residents that live here. It was originally a failure as lima bean fields and oil fields. In the early 1900s, a bunch of rich oil men and land developers were buying up the land and were selling lots for $900 a piece. First mayor in Beverly Hills is Will Rogers. First celebrities to move in were Mary Pickford and Douglas Fairbanks. And they moved into a home they called Pickfair. On the Pickfair property was the first swimming pool built in Southern California. It was 200 feet long. You could canoe on it. The People's Choice Awards are held here. Uh, Lifetime Achievement Awards in the entertainment business. Mm -hmm. This hotel belonged to a guy by the name of Merv Griffin. He just recently passed away. He made a fortune in game shows like Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy. Some of the most successful game shows in uh, TV history, actually. The main boulevard in Los Angeles is Wilshire. This boulevard runs right through LA. This one runs for 20 miles. Some of the department stores, you got Nima Marcus on the right hand side. Now you can order jets from here, jet helicopters. They even get new cars before car dealerships get them. One year they had the Grinch mobile you could buy that was in the movie The Grinch. They have a special catalog that comes out every year with all that. This season they have the special, uh, well, your own private submarine for 1.5 million. Last season, uh, Richard Branson, the owner of Virgin Airlines, he was offering up uh, flights and his new aircraft that he's bought into, that plane that'll take you into orbit so you can experience weightlessness, fly you back into Earth, and you stay like four days, four nights at his private island. That was going for $1.7 million. And that now has gone down to $3,500 just for the plane ride. This beautiful hotel coming up on the right is one of the grand old hotels in Beverly Hills. This one is called the Regent Beverly Wilshire, built in 1927. This hotel was built on a racetrack where they actually used to race Model T's here. Take a left onto Rodeo Drive, everyone, again known as being one of the more famous, expensive shopping streets in the world. Now the shopping part of Rodeo Drive is actually very short. It's only two and a half blocks. It's like one of the first streets to offer all these expensive boutiques on the same street. Some places actually take an appointment to go in their store to shop. And some places with a verbal agreement will close their store down so you can shop by yourself. You promise to spend at least a certain amount of money in their store. Now we normally don't see famous people on Rodeo Drive. When they come here to shop, they usually park the car in the back alley where there's valet parking. They go in the back way. It's people you normally see on Rodeo Drive are tourists, actually. 
<laughs> Notice not too many people carrying shopping bags, huh? Yeah, there's some interesting characters over there. Some of those people are actors, and well, they have a hard time getting regular jobs, so they wear costumes, and if you want a picture with them, they it's usually a dollar picture or something like that. But that might be, uh, too, where uh, they're giving out free tickets to game shows and TV shows. Sometimes they hire people to stand up front of the Chinese theater and give out those tickets. So if they're there today, that's where they'll be. Uh, look at the sidewalk here on the right-hand side, everyone. Here's some gift shops. The Hollywood Souvenir Shop on the corner is pretty popular. Maybe they'll give you some coupons if I honk at them. Um, but you guys can check out the stars on the sidewalk on your way down the street there. Well, we're now here on the famous Hollywood Walk of Fame. And we've got all the stars, footprints, handprints, signatures. And here, and there's Donald, all sorts. This is out the chi outside the Chinese theatre in Hollywood. Did your high Wi Fi work here, Craig? If it does, give it to me and I'll make a call. Yeah, you're really quiet up here and all the stars homes are up here as well and this is a panorama of Los Angeles This is just by the Walt Disney uh, concert hall in LA. There's a fantastic sound from this. 